hello guys and welcome to this tutorial in this video I'll be showing you guys the process and method I used in creating this hairstyle I made this with blender 2.9 and I rendered the cycles you could actually use any version to make this hairstyle so it's not compulsory you have to use 2.9 and if I go to the file this is the file I use an add-on for this which is called the hairnet add-on the add-on just makes this side a little bit faster to make it's use the guide I, I created the guide and the add-on will add the hair according to the duration or the style of the guide and just simple as that the add-on is actually free you could get it at github i, I recommend you get the 0 0.60 version for 2.8 that works best with version 2.90 I didn't use this version to make the hairstyle. I actually use another uh, another version for this. So I'm going to open that and show you guys the method. Okay, guys. Now I'm in the version 2.90.1, and this is the hairnet add-on. So once you install it, it will appear here by the side. If you press the N, you see it H N, which is hairnet. <coughs> I'll start along and show you guys the process of making the hair. So I'm going to select the region I need for the hair, the scalp. So I separated the hair area. It's not actually advisable for you to make your hair on the character itself. Okay, so once you've gotten the part, I'm going to rename it. I'll go back to the view. Now I'm going to use this hair as a guide. I'm going to use it to create the hairstyle. I'm going to make a different hairstyle just for time's sake. That other one is the same process just that I did for half part and then use the mirror modifier to mirror to the other side and i'll just show you guys this i'm going to okay duplicate this move it away go to edit mode rotate it take it in delete this okay now I'm going to mark here as seams. Now I'm marking here as seams to tell the add-on that the hair will be emitting from this direction up here. So this will be the root of the hair and this will be the tip, the end point of the hair. So I'll mark it as seams. Then I'll delete this. Now this will be where the hair will be packed. I'm trying to make a hair where the character packed the hair all back. Skip this. Okay. I'll, I'll go to the subdivision. I'll leave it at that. Add the loop here. Scale it out a bit. Scale here. Okay, now uh, since I'll be using this ha uh, add hair from sheet, I'll, I'll have to split this place because this is not actually a sheet like a single plane. That's how I'm supposed to make it. So I'll split here with a V and split it. That's it. Go back to the object mode. I'll apply this subdivision. I'll increase it to two and apply. Apply. I will hide, I will rename this to H1 so it will be the guide. I will hide this fair. Now I'm going to apply transformation to this. All transformation, you could see that here. All transformation, I will do that for the hair. All transformation. Now I will select the guide and shift select the hair and add hair from sheet. Now that's it. I'll hide the guide. Enable the sphere. Now I'll go to the hair panel. This render you enable B spline. Uh, nine is the highest. The higher you go, the more time you're going to spend rendering, and the more realistic it's going to get. But I'll put it at six, just for this. And for the steps, the viewport display 
strand step i'll take this to five seven is the highest and for the amount display i'll take it to 300 now that it's looking very thick i'll go to the render panel go to the hair and change this to strip now I also changes to cycles i'll be using cycles for the shader go back to the hair and the clump i'll make a graph a curve here and the ship I'll take this to 0 0.08 because of the scale of the of the sphere now if this is actually bigger than this I know it might be in 0 0.1 or 0 0.2 so because this is smaller I'm going to point this uh, 6 I'll take this to negative 8 or 7 okay so as easy as that we've done the first part of the hair now is to add the other puff here so before you do that you need to come go to particle edit mode tools changes to this one go to option make sure it's in particle enable all this and enable children you can comb the hair so you could push some parts in if they're actually out and style more now i'm going to do for the other parts that i will hide this you must hide it so you won't get any surprise i'll take this other guide duplicate and rotate to form the puff scale it okay now I'll clear these seams i'll delete it and i'll mark the seams here so the hair net will know the hair will be emitting from this direction so this will be the root and this will be the tip remember this move it out okay now if i use the add-on this the inside of scanty so i need to fill here i'll duplicate this scale it duplicate again scale it so i'm just trying to fill the hole here duplicate this scale it okay that's it for now i'll go back to the object mode and hide the first guide so I'll hide the sphere, select this, apply all transformation, then select the hair, go to the hair net, add from sheet. It'll take some time. Okay, now it has added, but I'm going to use the profile created for the first one. So I'll undo. And in this use settings, I'll select the first hair net and add from sheet. So it's using the profile for the first hair. All I'll do is to edit this. I'll hide the guide. Select the hair. Then I'll go to the the clump and change this. I'll switch it. And the roughness. I'll play with the roughness and the coils. Okay take this to point 0.1 yeah. take this to 3 and 0 0.08 6 6 so most times you just have to move with this number to see what works best for you and for the roughness i'll okay the radius i'll take it to point 0.2 so it will be more full now you see it has filled the center part i'll take the roughness turn here to point 0.3 this point 0.3 so it could look rough here 
you can see some extra hair strands moving out so it won't be that clean you could also add roughness to this but i left it clean i'll go back to the sphere now i'll go to the and show you guys the shader i used go to the texture add a new texture shader this is principal bsdf i'll delete this and add the principled hair bsdf connect it to the surface and i'll change this from direct coloring to melanin concentration and that's it now if i go to the render it will actually take some time i actually need to add light to the scene i forgot let me add some light I'm just creating something so we could see the hair properly. <laughs> okay, so <coughs> excuse. Now this the uh, hair. Now it's all brown for now. I will change this melanin redness to. Point 0.1 and the roughness if you can see the roughness is actually too much so I'll take it to point 0.5 and the radial roughness I'll take it to point 0.05 now I'm still getting uh, the brown look here you could change this to black to get the black hair shader so this actually controls uh, the color of the hair which is looking good I uh, could take it to white and show you if you move this slider, you get different colors for your hair. So depending on the color you're going, going for, if you take it all the way to one, you get a full black. But I'll leave it at point nine and add the color ramp. I'm trying to get variation to the hair strand because I don't think the hair should just be fully black. There should be different variation in the hair strands. So I'll use the color ramp add the vernal texture changes to 60 or 80 depends on the scale add the color to the factor and add this color to the tint but i'll change this to gray And I'll add brown to this and I'll add it to the tint so I'm getting for you did with this you actually get some variation to the hair strands you get some black you get some gray and you get some brown because the hair I accept you as apply some dye then you get full black color but with this you should get different variation in the hair strands so it looks more realistic and that's it guys that's the process and the shader i used to create this hairstyle now before i forget you need to go to the hair and in the modifier setting uh, modifier settings you change the render to one you make sure the level is at one and the render is at one because you get some surprise when you render it at two so that's it guys and thanks for watching